Hey guys, so today we are doing our very last experiment with friction. So to start off today, let's all take our hands and put them together. And I want you to rub them together as fast as you can. We're gonna do this for five seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. What did your hands feel like? I don't know about you, but mine felt really warm. That's because we were creating friction with our hands. And sometimes when you rub something together and you're creating a lot of friction, it can get really warm. And so today we're gonna to be learning about why that happens. So for today's experiment, all you need is a towel. And we are going to be taking our towel and testing it on all different types of materials. So to start, um, if you have like a pillow from your bedroom or your living room, I want you to take your pillow and I want you to just touch on top. How does it feel? Does it feel cold? Does it feel warm? Mine feels pretty cool. So what I want you to do is take your towel and for 15 seconds, we're gonna take it and we're just gonna rub it on top of the pillow. Kind of like you're trying to get out of steam. So go ahead and do that and we're gonna count to 15. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Take your towel off and feel the spot on the pillow you just rubbed. Does it feel hot or does it feel cold? When I touch the spot on the pillow that I just rubbed, it feels really pretty warm. I wonder why that could be. Next, we are going to take a toilet paper roll and we are going to take our towel and we are gonna rub it on top of it. But before we start, touch your paper towel roll. Does it feel hot? Does it feel cold? Mine feels pretty cold. So we're gonna take our paper towel roll and we are going to rub it on top of our toilet paper roll for 15 seconds. If you don't have a toilet paper roll at home, you can always just use regular cardboard. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Touch your cardboard. How does yours feel? Mine feels pretty warm right now. Now, last but not least, we are going to take our towel and this time we are gonna rub our hands together with the towel for 15 seconds. So before you start, feel your hands. Do they feel hot or do they feel cold? Mine actually feel a little cool right now. All right, let's take our towel and we're gonna rub our hands together. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How did your hands feel during that? Did they feel cool or did they feel warm? Mine felt pretty warm. So you might be wondering, why um, did things feel warm when we used our towel to rub it? That's because we actually are, um, when we're rubbing uh, something with our towel, like our hands um, or a pillow, we're actually using our own energy and creating our own energy. And sometimes when we are creating our own energy, we're rubbing something really, really hard together and that actually will create heat. And that's why we could feel um, it getting warmer. And when two things are being rubbed together, they're trying to slow each other down. And we know that that force is called friction. So usually when you are rubbing two things together and they're trying to slow each other, slow each other down, you are um, creating friction and that friction is making them warm up and it's actually creating heat. Now, we have been learning about friction um, for the past four videos. And if you remember, we've learned a couple important things. Number one, we've learned about the word force. And force is a push or a pull. Number two, we've learned what the meaning of friction is, which is 
friction is a force that slows things down. Number three, we've also learned that friction can create heat. You've done a great job through these videos, and I hope you enjoyed um, a couple experiments that we did along the way.